Alright. Oh, a ton of golf clubs at the Goodwill for us. Let's see if there's anything we're going to pick up. Got some. <laughs> Might be just the head cover. Look at that. Oh no, it's the Project X Chef that comes with it. It's a Callaway XR. It's All right, folks, welcome back. Today we have got a huge Facebook Marketplace deal that I'm super excited about. We're meeting up with the uh, seller a little bit later, but we didn't want to sit around at the house all day waiting yeah. for that, so we are going thrifting for golf clubs. We haven't done that in forever. Yeah, we've been uh, obsessed with the uh, the pawn shops mm -hmm. lately, so I'm excited to get out and see if we can still find some stuff at the thrift stores. Looking for stuff that we can use, we can sell to you guys for super cheap or just hit for fun and then uh, re-donate, but never know what you're gonna find, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. First, we're getting started with some, uh, well, you'll see where we are in a second. <laughs> All right, Ashley is wearing a Bucky's t-shirt in the last video, and like 10 people emailed us, have you guys tried the new fried chicken sandwich that they had? Well, now we there are. We is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, well, quit wasting your time with me too at the uh, thrift store. See if we can't find any golf clubs today. Can't shop hangry, so yeah. there you go. Can't shop hangry. Ashley's a <laughs> life <of> motto. <laughs> oh, a ton of golf clubs at the Goodwill for us today. Let's see if there's anything we're going to pick up. Got some head covers back here. We got the uh, Diablo Edge. Got a Callaway Extreme Hybrid cover. The uh, club. Yeah, if the clubs were here that go with that, that would be a heck of a day. Yeah. We got a uh, Bobby Jones hybrid. That's one of those like as seen on TV infomercial clubs. I've oh, never nice. actually hit that though. It's oh, one of the only uh, infomercial clubs that we haven't hit. Yeah. Let's see what else we got in here. We got Tommy Armor 845 hiding back there. Oh no, the 848. And uh, what else do we oh, got? Cleveland Wedge. Oh, nice Cleveland uh, Tour Action 900. I used to play the uh, the uh, Cleveland 588s all the time. Mm -hmm. I might uh, give that one a try. Was a pitching wedge, 48 degrees. Yeah. We'll give that one a try. You like the gunmetal finish. Yeah, the gunmetal finish is my favorite. <laughs> These things like shine straight up in your face. Yeah. I always use the uh, gunmetal ones. Plus, they look cooler. Yeah, they do look pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's a full set of those uh, 848s. We got Spalding Executive. We got 11 degree Orlemar Tri Metal. It'd be pretty sweet if they had the uh, clubs that actually <laughs> went with these uh, head covers. Maybe they're head. Oh, a Pure Spin. Oh, there's something <laughs> hidden under there. 58 degree Pure Spin. Well. We'll do that with the uh, the Cleveland uh, yeah. Tour action. Maybe we'll go to the par three course. Mm -hmm. Although, I don't think that would work. We can yeah. use that as a chipper. Or me. Yeah, <laughs> depending on which <laughs> par three course we go to. What do we got here? Got the yellow UST Pro 4, I don't know, knockoff UST Pro 4 shot. Huh. Got me a little excited, but we'll let you know if we find anything else, but definitely got excited about all these head covers. I think these are actually being sold as a bundle for $6. You could probably split those up and sell them if you wanted to, but I think we're gonna stick to the clubs. We'll let you know if we find anything else throughout the store on the way out. Check out this Sam Adams fedora hat, like the like Oktoberfest one, and then we got a Patagucci. Was that like a trout? Is that actually Patagonia? $2.99 <laughs> Patagucci found in the thrift. <laughs> I think we're gonna end up getting those clubs, but uh, yeah. we'll meet you at the next spot. Oh, we have a ton of clubs in here today. Let's see if there's anything worth picking up. We got a full set of these uh, bullet irons. This is a Wilson D5 under there. I think it is. That's the uh, red shaft that goes with it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I wonder if that's uh, being sold separately or all as one set. Yeah. We got some uh, tailor-made uh, low center of gravity, the LCGs. I think oh, that's what, what it stands is. for. Then we got an Izzo club. They're uh, more popular for making like bags and training aids. I forgot that they actually made clubs. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what do we got going on here? A ring putter. That's funky. Yeah, that almost looks like the uh, the yar putter. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> That's a goofy story. If you don't know about that, we'll leave a link in the description to the Yar story, but... It's a long story, but yeah. it's worth... Yeah. It's worth the read. <laughs> got a Wilson fat shaft that I missed. Yep. Whoa, yep. that looks pretty cool. It's in like mint condition. Uh -huh. It's got the uh, fat shaft supposed to be like better at impacts, more stable or something like that. I'm surprised those didn't like... It seems like something that's like clearly obvious why yeah. they didn't like become the standard. I don't know. But uh, we'll see we if don't. these are being sold separately. If not... I don't know what we're going to do, but I kind of want to get that uh, Wilson DD5 mm -hmm. driver. Cause I don't want to try. You want to try the ring putter? <laughs> you know I like weird putters. Yeah, Ashley is the uh, world's greatest putter. She can putt with anything, so. Weird, it's worth a shot. Weird putter. We'll see how it goes. Do you know how much the uh, Jordans down there are? I don't know how much they are. No. Okay. Do you want me to go ahead and do this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Not my size. Yeah. 424. 
I don't know if I could pull those off either. No. <laughs> Ended up passing on the Jordans. We did get these two golf clubs. The Jordans were just, I think those were the retro 12s, but I don't know enough about them to tell if they're fake or anything like that. So we just ended up getting the clubs, the Wilson DD5 and the Ring Putter, but uh, we'll meet you at the next spot. All right, we got a big old bucket of clubs in here. Let's see if there's anything good. Looks like there's two Acer sandwiches. We got a Putter, an MX400. Be cool if it was an MX400 uh, Mizuno driver or something like that. Are they making MX400 or did they start at 500? I, I don't I'm know. really confused. By Those that. are looking pretty good. Yeah. McGregor signature, left handed. The shot saver. That's a really like, yeah. shiny good They're condition. Like in really good condition. Huh. I think this is a persimmon right there. Yeah, you can usually tell because the laminates are like compressed together. Mm -hmm. What else do we got? And we got Walter Hagen. Killer B? Oh, a Killer B. You ever hit one of those? No, but it's, it's like, like the, a uh, stinger though, so it's like a built-in stinger machine. Built-in stinger? Like, yeah. Like, that was actually pretty funny. I didn't get it at first, <laughs> but they were like marking that as like long drive stuff. They had like the black and yellow uh, colorway. Yeah, they're like the driver and everything. Yeah, we gotta try it. It's like a built-in stinger, like Ashley said, and I didn't get nothing new here, but we'll let you know if we find anything else, but <laughs> we'll hold it together here for you guys. <laughs> I got a travel bag right there. Yellow tags, 50% off. See if there's any clubs in there. Oh, <laughs> might be just the head cover. Look at that. Oh, no, it's the Project X Chef that comes with it. It's a Callaway XR. This is literally the stuff that just got uh, donated. That is crazy. Yep. Callaway XR in the thrift. I don't even know how much this stuff is. It's literally, we just walked in the yeah. door and they're right here. We got the uh, Tommy Armor Torch. Uh, Adam's golf bag, too. Oh, oh yeah, Adam's bag. Adam's idea putter. It looks like a Ping I-3 uh, Dunlop knockoff. What else we got? We got a chipper in there. Oh, it's a Wilson chipper. You guys, nice. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say, but that is our favorite chipper. You guys know that we love them. We got the uh, booty shaft. I think this is an Adam's Idea Pro Black. Oh, it's a 15 degree. Oh, that thing is going to be a rocket launcher. 15 degree yeah. is usually like a three wood, but that's a hybrid. I like that head cover too. Yeah, it's head clever. cover is cool. Adam's stuff at the end, like before they went, uh, got bought by Taylor. Yeah, their stuff really is super innovative. cool. Yeah, we'll see how much this is going for. Hasn't even hit the floor yeah. yet. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully we can get it. Yeah. This is a very heavy duty uh, steel brush. Yes, it is. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, this stuff just got donated, so we'll be out within a couple of weeks, maybe a week. A couple of weeks? Yeah. Okay. It'll be out soon, though. Would you be able to, would you, be, would you possibly be able to buy them today? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all? They have to be processed and weighed and whatnot. Okay. Thank you. Well, that was kind of a bummer to say the least. They had a Callaway XR just sitting there, as you guys saw, but she would not sell it to me. I wasn't going to argue with her, though. It's a thrift store, so yeah. I ain't gonna, I'm not going to go. It's corporate policy, too. Yeah, it's probably a corporate policy or something. We did find a Callaway XR in the thrift. <laughs> just cool to see. We just didn't buy it, so. Yeah. Well, Still you found. <laughs> yeah. It's clickbait, but not click. We'll meet you at the uh, Facebook Marketplace deal. We're running late now, but uh, that was kind of funny. <laughs> All right, folks, that was a heck of a Facebook Marketplace deal. It was actually too good. Yes. We ended up uh, paying the lady double. It's kind of complicated, and the course is uh, busy, so we'll show you everything that mm -hmm. we got once we're out on the course and start using it. But basically, we got there. It was supposed to be a deal for one set of clubs. That was a pretty good deal. Mm -hmm. And then she ended up having an entire another set that was almost just as good. Yeah. And she just said, yeah, take these. This was part of the deal, even though they weren't in the pictures. It was just, uh, I would have felt bad unexpected. if we, yeah, it was unexpected. I would have definitely felt bad if we didn't give her some extra money. Oh, so we ended up just uh, paying her double. We'll probably like show you some clips of us going into her garage and buying it. Didn't want to film in there or anything no. like that. But uh, yeah, excited to try them out. First hole is a 437 yard par five. We're going to play from Ashley's tees today and play a little alternate shot and try everything out. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you everything, like I said, but should be fun. Definitely some good stuff. Oh, look at that. We got a plane uh, landing right in the background as we start. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there's like it's like a flying community. All these houses have like well, some of the houses have hangars and stuff. And they just like taxi around, so you have to worry Unique. about yeah. yeah, you have to worry about driving into uh, cars, golf airplanes. carts, and airplanes. Yeah, no trains good. though. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but first of all, 437 yards. I'm going driver. Well, I'm going through the trees. Should be good. I didn't hear anything. Well, that was kind of lucky. I actually pulled that. I was trying to take a little bit more off of the corner, but we still managed to stay in bounds. The uh, fairways here are super tight. We got about 130 yards. What do you want to use? One of those hybrids? Some sort of hybrid. Yeah, none of the head covers go with what actually the uh, clubs are. So, 
see what this one is. Pick a random one. Yeah, pick a random one. <laughs> Hopefully it's a five hybrid. The Cobra Baffler, oh no, it's even better. Cobra Baffler XL6 hybrid should be the uh, perfect club for you. Cool. It's basically a full set of the uh, Cobra XLs. Then you got the hybrids and some drivers that we'll show you in a second. And then this set over here is a bunch more Cobras. And we got just, those lots are of Cobras. <laughs> lots of Cobras, a crazy deal. Let's see if I actually can't put one on the green. Also, I apologize, there's no uh, shot tracers today. I accidentally filmed the first part in 60 frames per second. And the shot tracer app only does 30 frames per second, so it messed up the timeline. Yeah, and super boring. You guys don't care. Yeah. We're going to zoom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was crushed a little bit left. Oh, it bounced out of the bunker. Oh, it, bo it bounced Whoa. onto the green. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I would take luck on my side any day. <laughs> yeah, it's better to be lucky than to be good for sure. That's a eagle putt. Well, like John said, it's better to be lucky than good. We went from in the bunker to an eagle putt, so pretty crazy. <laughs> Nice start to the day. Oh, right down the middle of the fairway. Ashley's love affair with the uh, Cobra drivers continues. That is the 400 SZ. It's got the offset. I think that's actually the oldest club that was in uh, all, both yeah, of those sets. But, but I do really well with offset. Yeah, you love the uh, old school uh, Cobra stuff. It's starting to rain here, so we're going to have to hurry up, but yeah. it's a pretty good, I think we'll probably have like a gap wedge left in or something like mm -hmm. that. Boom, tap in. Oh, I think we're just short. Nice. I don't know what it is about those old school Cobra drivers, but they seem to work. I thought John was actually gonna drive the green at first, but he's in the fairway and I've got a wedge left in, so see what I can do from here. Oh, that's right at it. Roll out. Oh, that was right at it though. It feels so good. <laughs> it does. I guess that was my tap in, but good job. <laughs> All right, next hole is Ashley's famous hole in one hole. Never actually made a hole in no, one but here. I've but gotten pretty close. Yeah, you've gotten pretty close. Actually, the last time we played here, we mentioned that, and someone said that this was the only hole that they've ever gotten a hole in one on. They got two. Is that the story? Yeah, I think so. It's something magical about yeah, this hole. Yeah, something magical about this hole, but uh, going with the uh, Cobra Baffler XL. Actually, the uh, pitch shot back there is with the Cobra Baffler XL gap mm -hmm. wedge. It's pretty good. Yeah. I like the little rails on there. It seems to be good. Gets easy through like the hit. rough and everything. Yeah, easy to hit. Hole in one time, that's what we're saying. Oh, we're gonna be testing out the bunker. <laughs> we're good. We're good? You go over it? No, right before. Right before. It sounded good. It was a good trajectory though. Yep. Well, I hit that one pretty good, but it went a little too far to the right. So hopefully John can hit a wedge and get me pretty close for a save a par. <laughs> well, maybe I'll switch back to the uh, pure spin wedges. I used these when I was in high school and everybody laughed at me, but they work. They work. They're illegal too. They're not illegal. Yeah. Take your time. <laughs> Actually, that ring putter, I hit it on the last hole, is really good. Got a good feel. Boom. <laughs> All right, Ashley's nemesis hole. Luckily, I am uh, teeing off. Yes. You go from the uh, hole in one hole to Ashley's nemesis hole. Yeah. I think when we did your uh, course vlog, this is the only hole that you got a double bogey on. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite. We'll see if we can do better alternate shot. Yes. Going over the trees. Don't hear anything. Should be good. Fairway. Nice. I used your stinger club, but I did not hit a stinger. <laughs> it's versatile. Oh, thin to win. We can get that up and down. Not my best, but definitely not my worst. I think John's going to go up with the Cleveland wedge. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm speechless. <laughs> oh, man. I think we both thought that was going in, but in the hole. I think we're still, like, we eagled the first one, mm -hmm. and then we buried, so we're three under. We might as well keep this uh, thing going, <laughs> see if we can't shoot our personal best uh, here, <laughs> even in the rain. But uh, next hole is a par three. We'll let you know how long it is and what club we're hitting once we get up there. 125 yards, Ashley is going with the six hybrid. Oh, it looks like we we're going to have some fun in the bunker. <laughs> it skipped through or is it in there? No, it's in there. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a tricky bunker. We'll go with the pure spin though. I've been hitting yeah. that one pretty good. Oh, nice shot. Pure spin's going in the bag. Uh, world's greatest putter to clean us up for a par. That pure spin wedge would definitely go in the bag, but you're going to have to use like a new ball every single time that you hit it. Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> Four dollars each time. 
find cheaper uh, golf balls. <laughs> that was a good putt, actually. It was a little bit longer than I thought. But uh, next hole, is it my tee shot? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a longer par four. We'll let you know how long it is when we get up there. Just over 300 yards. John's going with driver, obviously. That was off the toe too. Two toe hooks, a chip and a drive, and we got a birdie putt. We are playing from the forward tees though, so it's a little bit easier. Yeah. I think this is to go four under, not really sure yet. Hey, you got more pressure on me. My bad. Oh, <laughs> oh my I would have made it if you said it was for three under. All right, you're teeing off on the next hole, par five. All right, par five, 425 yards. I'm going with driver. John's probably going with three wood, and then I'm probably going with the three wood. So wish me luck. Oh, that is crushed. Absolutely crushed right down the middle of the fairway. Yeah. Nice shot. Thanks. Well, that went a lot further than I thought. That was the uh, Jesse Ortiz hybrid. I pushed it and it went way further than I thought. Yeah. We're not in the bunker, but our next shot could be from the bunker. <laughs> I would probably put it in the bunker too. It's a terrible lie and not the easiest of shots. Good luck. Oh, that is perfect. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> and we contact, we can still get uh, that up and down. That was a really hard shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit. <laughs> nice shot. I think the pure spin might be going in the back. Yep. Boom. Struggle for par on the uh, par five. Let's see if we can't end up with a birdie, yes. though. Then we'll show you all the clubs. <laughs> You are testing my short game today. I need to practice. <laughs> but not like this. <laughs> need to practice for our little uh, par 3 1v1v1 challenge with my yes, dad. I definitely do. Well, let's go break that way. Me too. All right, Ashley, to finish us off with a par, I think this would be for three under par. One of our best alternate shot rounds ever. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that was brutal. That was still a lot of fun. That uh, little uh, ring putter is actually pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Feels really good. It's almost like a training aid too. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's uh, go take a look at the clubs and wrap her up. Cool. All right, let's take one last look at all of the, actually the first look at some of the clubs because they were all, there was, Under head covers. Yeah, there was a ton of uh, head covers and none of them match, but yep. we got a full set of the Cobra Bafflers, four iron all the way down to the gap wedge. The four iron, five iron, and six iron are the hybrids with the light flex. And they all have the uh, Golf Pride Tour wrap grips on there. And then this uh, set also had a putter, a tailor made uh, ghost tour. I think this is, I forget which one this is, the MA81. It's like the uh, Scotty Cameron Del Mar, basically. Those things are notorious for getting super nicked mm -hmm. up. Needs a new grip. The uh, Wilson Staff uh, head cover did not go with, off. yeah, none of the head covers <laughs> no. went with anything. And it was $125, and that was the set that we saw on the yeah. Facebook Marketplace deal. And this basically this whole set, well, besides this, we got this at Goodwill. Mm -hmm. This whole set would have been free, but it felt- It was two full sets. Yeah, it was no too idea. good of a uh, deal. It was $125, then we ended up just basically doubling it, because yeah. it was basically two sets of the same exact thing. And then the Cobra Amp 5 wood was also in that set. And then this one had a ton of clubs. <laughs> yes. We have the uh, King Cobra 400 SC offset driver that actually absolutely Killed. Yeah, you I were, really like offset. Yeah, you're the offset uh, Cobra drivers are your are your jam. Mm -hmm. Is that the cool kid? No, yeah. cool kids don't say that. No, they don't. And then we got the uh, th uh, four iron, five iron, and six iron hybrids of the Cobra Baffler XLs, and these things are in like mint condition. Yes. The only ball marks on there are what we hit, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then uh, seven iron all the way down to the gap wedge, and just the uh, regular irons. And these got the uh, stock shafts in there, Maybe. and I think they still have the. Uh, well, that one's not coming out. We got too many clubs <laughs> in there. Yeah, the stock shafts and the stock grips on there, and then we got the other stuff in the uh oh i forgot about these we got a three uh, uh wood and a three three wood and a five wood yeah. easy for me to say of yep. the s91 offset so definitely a good deal yeah that was a crazy day we found the callaway xr in the thrift and they wouldn't Stinger. let us buy it oh yeah i hit the non-stinger <laughs> with the stinger 
I think that's the first time we played nine holes in a long time. So yes, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the uh, longer course vlog part mm -hmm. of the video. Let us know in the comments if you like that. And uh, we'll do it again for you if yeah. you want. So I uh, hope you guys did like this video. If you did, like them and subscribe. Hey, and we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. We've caught the bandit. There he goes. Nature. <laughs> We've had nature seen in a while. Trash panda behind the tree. <laughs> Focus pull. Focus. <laughs>